just about every single game that's been released with multiplayer in it has the same exact role set as most. The helpful healers, or stunning supports, the deadly damage dealers, and the few but cherished tanks. You can see where I'm going with this. Today we'll be delving into and trying out the Vanguard characters in Marvel Rivals. First on our list for the big boys, the vanguards of the game, if you will, is Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk, aka dude who did way too much roids. You got Hero Hulk, you got Monster Hulk, you got Bruce Banner. All of them have different sets for their abilities. We're gonna go through those now. He's equipped with a gamma ray gun, and uh, uh, honestly, there, there, there's there's not much to it. There's really not much to him. You got where you could actually finally turn into the monster himself puny banner and you have a gamma grenade that helps you build up your puny banner that, 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 that's about it that's about it but when you finally do get to the big man himself the hulk you got heavy blows you can smack people with however this is kind of crap for range and it's not it, it, it does good damage ish it doesn't do great damage it, it's mild at most he's got a gamma burst for your uh, alternate attack it's it, it's his only ranged attack, basically. There's not much to it other than that, either. You can leave really far distances, as seen in the video right here. And you can even leap up to, let's say, a storm and knock them down. It's pretty cool, actually, in, in, in like practice. It's fantastic when you get to do it. Radioactive lockdown, it, it's really hard to explain, but, uh, yeah. Basically, you just immobilize them, but as soon as you touch them or somebody else touches them, they're... It's like honest sleep dart. You honest sleep dart them, and then they wake up as soon as they're damaged at all. But because there's a lot of AOEs in the game, it's it's really hard to actually get shit done. Indestructible Guard is essentially Zarya Bubbles, but for everybody around. And then you have Hulk Smash, which turns you from Hero Hulk into the complete Roid Rage Hulk. Or Monster Hulk, as the game says. Monster Hulk! Once again, you have the heavy blows. It, that's about it. It launches them a wee bit of time, but it, it really doesn't do much in practice. In my opinion, Bruce Banner, aka Hulk, is just... He's hes kind of a creature when you get to know him. But there's a reason that he's 4 out of 5 difficulty stars. He's extremely difficult to play as, extremely difficult to learn, and a beyond high skill ceiling. It's crazy. There's almost no genuine way to learn them this quickly unless you absolutely know life the game and have a hundred hours in it already looking at you old overwatch league fans just saying i just i'm just listen i'm just saying next on our list of the big boys is captain america the boy in blue the one who's set to save america i'm actually not a big fan of captain america i'm gonna be completely honest here I'm a big fan of Hulk, but not a big fan of Steven Rogers. It's... I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. Anyways, in the game, he's actually pretty fun to play, though. Sentinel Strike is your basic attack. Uh, you get close to enemies when striking distance, but also the second hit that you land is the one where you ricochet your shield. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting, if you ask me. Then you have the Living Legend, which essentially is just your shield. You can deflect projectiles, sending them ricocheting in random directions, but... They're not as random as they say they are, and you have a limited amount of shield, kind of like Reinhardt from Overwatch. Super Soldier Slam is essentially where you jump into the sky and really just smack down on some enemies. It's pretty cool. It's like that one time where, uh, you know, the Undertaker beat the shit out of what's-his-nuts. It's really cool. It's really cool, in my opinion. Liberty Rush is your charge forward. It's uh, kind of crazy, but I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's a charge. It's a charge. In my opinion, in the game itself, though, it doesn't go too far. Right here it says it does, but I don't know, it doesn't really go too far at all. Vibranium Energy Saw is fantastic to beat the shit out of people. You guys ever played World of Warcraft? Think of the Paladin's Shield Burst, or like the, the, the Shield Bounce. Essentially the same thing. Leading Dash, you get the idea. You, you, you get the idea. Fearless Leap, Leading Dash, yeah, it, it's... It is what it is. Now this one, Freedom Charge crazy shit right here all right shield held high carve a path forward granting both himself and allies the along the path continuous bonus health and movement boost essentially you want monster machine carved a path for your friends to get some good shit going 
It's a fantastic character. Fantastic character. A great, a great character, if you ask me. Next on the list of big boys is one that, personally, I never really expected to be a vanguard. Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme himself. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's he's two stars out of five in difficulty rating. He's got the daggers of Danak, or Denik? Danak? Danaka Naka? Da 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 hey hey, I don't know. But yeah, you just kind of shoot them. His passive, the price of magic, dark magic accumulates with every hit on an enemy. Dark magic peaks for too long, Doctor Strange will be cursed with anti-heal. Essentially, not really allowing him to heal at all. Y you can't heal the guy, he's just fucking unhealable. So you have to release it in, you know, a way that's going to be coming up pretty soon. <sighs> Shield of the Seraphim. You basically just have this giant fucking bubble that nobody can penetrate. And it's got, I think, 600 to start. And sometimes you can have it boost, but I don't really remember exactly how you have it boost. I don't know. It's it, it, There's there's a lot to it. Pentagram of Ferala, it's... Y you got your portals. You got your, your standalone Doctor Strange portals. You can portal anywhere. You can portal off a cliff. You can portal your enemies off a cliff. You can portal your friends off a cliff. You can also get banned from the fucking game for grief. It's, it, it is what it is. Maelstrom of Madness is how you release your dark energy, but it's also uh, AoE, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an AoE. You just kind of... Kaboom. It's beautiful. Cloak of Levitation, you can fucking fly. Enough said. The Eye of Akamoto... You separate the enemy's souls from their bodies, and every damage dealt to the souls is dealt to the human, or the... Actually, it's not human, it's, it's, it's the person that is... It's the physical being of the fucking, the fucking character. But every, every bit you deal is dealt to the physical bodies personally. But, depending on who it is, it can deal extra damage. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but this is of myself. I am Groot. 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 Next up is my honest-to-god favorite villain in all of Marvel history. I am, I am what we would call a Meganito connoisseur. And it's not because I grew up Jewish, okay? Shut the fuck up. That's, that's not the only reason, okay? He's not just a guy in Marvel who's a villain who's also Jewish. It's not, that, that's not the only fucking thing Magneto has going for him. He's also, uh... Hey, yo, Grandpappy, how you doing? Anyways... Yeah, so you got Iron Volley, you fire a volley of magnetic orbs forward. It's his basic attack, it actually does pretty standard, pretty standard damage. Until you hit in rapid succession with everybody else, it's fucking fantastic in my opinion. His passive is, you, you, you don't fall, you just kind of float down. You float gently downward, like a butterfly in the wind. Mag Cannon, it converts the Iron Rings on Magneto's back into a Mag Cannon, launching a metallic mass forward. It's essentially his, you know, left click, but in a right click way. But it also deals knockback, which is fucking cool. Iron Bulwark gives himself the shield, but, um, it doesn't last as long, in my opinion, as Metal Bulwark, which is one you give to the allies. Uh, the one you give to allies also, you know, the damage taken will transform into rings on Magneto's back. It, 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 there's, there's really nothing to it. It's not like Zarya's ultimate or Zarya's bubble from Overwatch, where it just kind of gives you, you know, more damage, it's just, it, it's just a bubble. Not Metallic Curtain. <laughs> hey, yo. I loves me some Metallic Curtain. 
And then, you know, the Meteor M, because Magneto has to have everything that starts with a fucking M, like magnets. Fucking magnets. How do they work? You just, you just kaboom. You just... You just kaboom. It's just, it's just kaboom. Okay? Okay, moving on to the now, next. Now, coming up is actually a, a character I really haven't personally tried. Her name's Penny Parker, and, uh... I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably the one person in the world who has never, ever seen or watched or played anything Penny Parker's in. So, um, I mean, you can at me if you'd like, but she's a level 4 or 5 difficulty. It is what it is. She got cyberweb clusters. It, it's just, it's just cannons. You, you just got, you just got cannons on your shoulders. It is what it is. Cyberweb Snare, you cast a futuristic webbing that immobilizes enemy, enemies or creates a cyberweb. While on the cyberweb, gain healing over time and a movement boost. Essentially, she's heavily trapped based. She's actually kind of cool. I've just never really played her personally. You got wall crawl, you crawl on walls. That, do, do I really have to say more than this? Cyberbond, you shoot a web that strands, but links to the target area or cyberweb. If stretched too far, it will, uh, it'll, it'll trigger a pullback. You, you, you don't really... It, 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 it's hard. It's hard to actually get to lock, in my opinion. It's really difficult. But, um... I've also never played it, so it's all it's all hearsay that I'm saying this. The Arachno Mine. Deploy Arachno Mines that can be concealed in the confines of a spot. A cyberweb. You, um... You just kind of place down traps in your webs. It's actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool looking. Especially in practice. You got your bionic spider nest, generating a spider, bionic spider nest on target area, peri periodically spawning spider drones and creating cyber webs. This shit is one of the most annoying things to deal with whenever you're trying to park and push a cart! Ah! <laughs> spider web sweeper enhances the spider suit, launching up enemies in the path, and deploy your arachno mine, spider drones, and cyber webs repeatedly. All at the same fucking time. It's all at the same time. It is insane to deal with and beyond, beyond ridiculous. Now on to, uh, to, to personally one of my favorites of all time, Thor. He's, he's just, ugh. Would it be a pun if I said he was God tier? <laughs> I'm gonna shut the fuck up. In my opinion, Thor Odin's son is one of the best vanguards this game could have ever gotten, truly. He's also really easy to learn, so if you're wanting a really fun, high skill ceiling, but really easy to get into Vanguard. Pick Thor. Pick Thor. He's so much more fun than any of them. And this is coming from the guy who's a Magneto obsessed. Okay? For realsies. For realsies. You got your Mjolnir bash with the... You wield Mjolnir to strike enemies when awakened. Thor can launch lightning arc waves to deal damage. It's, 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 it's some crazy shit. Alright? It's some crazy shit. Thor Force, you can tube Thor Force to gain bonus health, landing meal near bash on an instant enemy instantly returns to the Thor Force. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that one. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the... Yeah. Hammer throw! You throw your... You, you throw your hammer. God, some of these are just really obvious. Awakening Rune. Consume Thor Force to awaken the state. Granting bonus health and enhancing meal near bash. Essentially, you can zap the fuck out of people like your doctor from Dead by, Dead by Daylight. God, I can hear that motherfucker laughing right now. Ah. Lightning Realm, bubble. You, you put up, you put up Gibby bubble. You got, you got a bubble. You, you got a big old bubble. Bubble butt. A bubble, bubble, bubble butt. A bubble butt. Anyways, Storm Surge. You hold to spin Mjolnir before dashing forward and knocking back enemies. It's actually really cool. I don't really hold it. I just. I'm just kind of use it to get away. It doesn't really take you any further than uh, than where it's supposed to go at all. So there's no real reason to hold it other than to kind of like uh, confuse, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I I'll have to try it personally and let you all know in the next video. The God of Thunder. Soar upwards and smite the ground after charging for a duration, inflicting damage on enemies within a range and completely blasting them out of the fucking smithereens. God, he's so cool. I mean, <clears throat> Odin, he's so cool. Last on the list, or the roster, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, for heroes, even though he's not a hero, he's a Venom. He's a Venom. He, it, it's Venom. He's a Venom. You can't really say much about Venom. Venom does what Venom wants. Venom does what Venom wants, becoming Venom Cockroach and Eddie. Eddie, I am Venom. He's pretty okay. He's a good tank, or Vanguard, sorry. <coughs> 
Vanguard. To get into if you don't really know the game. If you really know the game, you're not going to have a lot of fun without him. In my opinion, he's a level 1 out of 5 difficulty. It's... <laughs> you got Dark Predation. Predation? Predation? The, the Federation? Of... D D Dark Predation. You just... You got tentacles come out, you back in, text people. Cool. Whatever. Alien biology is passive. You can wall crawl. And then you, you, you press, you know, left click to, to run on the wall. It's actually really cool in my opinion. Cellular corrosion. Unleash tentacles to slow enemies within reach. You just kind of slow them all down. There's there's nothing really else to it. Uh, people can't really get away from it. It's actually really fucking difficult in practice in the games themselves to get away from this shit. So good luck if you get grabbed. You might as well just kind of stay still. Frenzy Derival. Dash to the target location from certain height upon landing. Damage nearby the enemies, launching them up towards the landing point. You, you essentially just kind of... It's kind of like a pull. It's a its a knock-up and pull. Hey, yo! Symbiotic Resilience. Generate bonus health against damage. The lower Venom's health, the greater the bonus health. Generate... Ah, I see six, six, six. Anyways. Venom Swing. This is, this is my... By far, my favorite swinging character in the game, just because... Who doesn't love a good tank? Just saying. Anyways, yeah, you get the point of essentially what this is. Feast of the Abyss. Um, essentially Jeff's ultimate, but you don't swallow him, and it's horrifying. Like I said, it's horrifying. You get bonus health. The man's a beast, and I'm not trying to make a joke here. But yeah, essentially that's the vanguards in this game. And in my opinion, the tanks in this game are flawless. Except for Penny Parker, because I haven't really tried her yet, but uh, I'm sure she's flawless. If you guys did like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. But uh, whatever you feel like is, is right, you know. I'd greatly appreciate any support. I've been changing a lot of things about the content recently, and if you guys do enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know. And uh, let me know also, which Vanguard you're most excited for, or excited to play, or have played, or have mastered. There's a lot of shit. There's a... There's... There's... Yeah. Alright. Till next time. Stay sweet. Stay slimy. This world still needs to.